What's going on guys? Uh it's Patrick. Um I'm just going to be doing a video today. Uh I'm going to be talking about how I study for um my college finals and how uh some people around the country are going to be having finals coming up within the next couple of weeks. Uh whether you're in college, on uh high school, anything like that. Uh these are just some universal tips you guys can use uh whenever you're studying or uh, trying to get focused for a special or a particular week that's coming up in your life. And uh, I got three tips for here, uh, as long as a, uh, as well as a couple um, small uh, minor tips that'll help you guys out. Uh, so we'll jump right in. All right, guys, so the first tip I wanna give you guys uh, is start to prioritize uh, your events and your activities during uh, the week of finals week. Uh, this is going to be organizing things like uh, the most important tests, projects, uh, what days you're going to be working outside of school, uh, other things like that that you definitely want to be able to write down in a planner or schedule of some sort so that uh, it put less puts less stress on your brain. Um, this will also help you uh, require so you don't burn out as easily. That students get very a lot of uh, student burnout now during these days, especially being online and stuff like that. People definitely need to be able to stay focused at certain tasks and be able to focus on certain things such as the test that's coming up tomorrow. All you want to be thinking about is one test at a time and take, taking one test at a time before you move on to the next item on the list. Uh, this also falls into step two, uh, which we will get into right now. The second tip I want to give you guys is get organized. Um, so this also falls in with prioritize. Uh, this means writing stuff down on a planner, maybe on a calendar, uh, things like that, that you're going to be able to plan out your day, not only your day and also your week, so that uh, not only you and your the people around you will know what your week is going to be looking like and everybody can be on the same page. Schedule things closest uh, and put lots of times down. This will help you plan out your whole day, not just write things down and not what times they're at. This can be things like work, activities, family events, even dinners and hanging out with friends, stuff like that. Uh, this will also help you uh, with time management, telling you when you're allowed to work and when you're allowed to relax and be able to stay focused during this very, very stressful week in which kids start to kind of give up once they go through halfway or something bad happens, which kind of leads us into our third tip. All right, guys, so the third and most important thing you guys need to realize is something bad is going to happen in finals week. It's always destined for something small or something big to happen to you, whether that's you wake up a little late for your test and you're 10 minutes late or um, something happens with your Internet at home on Zoom and you're down for five minutes, stuff like that that you cannot control. In most instances, you just need to be able to run with it and say, something bad's gonna happen. Maybe I don't do so hot on this test. Maybe I kind of goofed up and something bad happened and let's say I got a C. You gotta be able to have to roll with it and not let it affect your other grades because it's, it's good to have uh, just one C on a test rather than uh, two or three or four C's and then all of a sudden all your grades kind of tank at the end of the semester and it's just really disappointing for that to happen. So once you come to the fact that say, hey, I know something's going to go wrong. I'm going to accept it. Once it happens, I'm going to roll with it. I know it's coming. And once you accept it, it's gonna, just going to be a lot less on your shoulders and a lot less stress in your body. And hey, sometimes stuff doesn't happen. Stuff, stuff works out the way you plan it. And um, if you definitely get more organized, we'll definitely reduce the chances of bad stuff happening. But you just have to come to the fact that something bad is definitely going to happen and you're just going to have to roll with it and go from there. Um, some other tips that I can give you guys that are kind of uh, more easy and to understand and to change. Get lots of rest. Um, sleep is a very important thing when it comes to finals week. Don't try to study up too late. Um, don't study till like midnight or 1 a.m. or stuff like that. Try to cram. Uh, it's best to try to study um, in your normal times that you're awake um, and try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night. 
whether that's um, the day before the test or if you're just studying the week before, all this stuff is good for um, attainment inside your brain with all the information that you're going to be uh, putting in there and trying to remember. Um, definitely review things like your notes and handouts, lectures, things like that, PowerPoints. Um, these are definitely great tools to use and you don't even have to spend that much time on it uh, if you know what content you're working with. Um, prepare things uh, like meals and plan out what you're going to have for dinner uh, so that you're not trying to rush whenever you're in between classes and Zooms and things like that. Um, also have a good um, attitude when it comes to it. So you got to be able to put yourself out there and say, hey, it's going to be rough, but I know I can do it. You have to kind of self, uh, self-assure self yourself and say, hey, I know this is going to be super hard, but I know I can do it and I'm going to try my best and that's the best I can do. And if I fall short, then I just fall short a little bit. But you got to be able to put your best foot forward and be able to take your best stab at it. Um, those are just some actually uh, good tips that I have that I'm taking with me into my finals week next week. And um, I hope that you guys uh, got something out of this, whether it's just something small or maybe the whole video was a kind of awakening for you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm going to be posting about one to two uh, videos every week. Uh, if that is good with you guys, um, I think that's a good number of videos so that I don't get burnt out too quickly, but I'm still providing content for you guys. And they shouldn't be longer than 10 minutes unless it's a special video. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys like the video, uh, subscribe and uh, leave a like. Um, and let me know what you guys are doing in the comments, what you guys are doing and planning for summer of 2021. If you guys are going anywhere or going on vacation, just hanging out, have school. I got a couple of, I got a class for six weeks. Uh, but other than that, um, I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace.